Welcome to EMR Link video training. Today we're going to walk through the steps on how to map lab result codes to EMR codes, observation terms for centricity users. Your EMR Link representative will need to enable the proper settings in order for this functionality to work. If you are not set up to utilize the online result map, please contact your EMR Link support team. Let's get started by logging into EMR Link. Click on the Labs tab, then choose Result Map. In the Lab drop-down, choose the lab you wish to edit. When a lab provides EMR Link with an updated compendium, you'll see the obsoleted result code shown here. To see only the codes that need to be mapped, Choose Show Unmapped Test Only. Also, when a result lands in EMR link from the lab with a result code that has not been previously mapped, you'll see these entries to be mapped to your chosen EMR code. To start mapping, click on the Edit button to the far right of the result code that has been updated. The Edit Result Map dialog box should pop up. Then you may search for the new result code by either searching for the result code or EMR code. Today I will search for my result codes. Modify the filters in the gray search box to search for your updated result codes. Once you've found the correct result code, click on the blue result code. This will automatically replace the outdated result code with the new one. Then click OK if you've finished or OK Edit Next to map the next line in the result map. You'll need to continue mapping until finished. Once you are finished with the mapping, whether you've mapped all codes in one setting or done a few at a time as time permits, you'll need to publish your result map. To publish, click on the Publish button. When publishing, the draft result map will override the current result map. It is best practices to back up the currently published result map. Once you've finished your mapping and published it, you'll need to export your new cross-reference file. Click on the Export button. Verify that your export format is correct. Then make sure your lab kit name is correct as well. Select the cross-reference format which you like to use, either Result Codes to Ops Mapping or Ops to Ops Mapping. Click OK to export your new lab kit. Click on the drop-down to Save As, then save your new lab kit in a location where you can get to it from your DTS server. For this demonstration, I will export to my desktop. Browse out to the location which you have saved the lab kit. Right click and select Extract All. You will need to save your new cross reference file in your Link Logic Config Local Directory before importing into your EMR. You'll see your new cross-reference file in the uncompressed lab kit folder. Once in Centricity Administration, open your system folder, open the Link Logic folder, choose Task Options, open the Lab Result folder, click on your lab connection, highlight your cross-reference file, click on the Change button, then click the three ellipses. Find your new cross-reference file, 
highlight it, click open, click OK. The last step is to refresh your DTS. This will ensure that the link logic recognizes your new cross-reference file. If you have any questions regarding this video or with completing your result mapping, please contact your EMR Link support team. Thank you for watching.